Many people associate stomach ulcers with stress and spicy foods. While these things probably don't help, most stomach ulcers are caused by a bacteria called Helicobacter pylori or by overuse of certain medications like aspirin and ibuprofen. An ulcer is an open, painful sore that can be found in the stomach or the first part of the small intestines called the duodenum. The normal stomach produces acid, which helps digest food and kills most swallowed bacteria. But when the protective gel layer of the surface of the stomach is disrupted by medications or Helicobacter pylori, an ulcer can result. So how do you know if you have an ulcer? Let's give Michael here some Helicobacter pylori and a few extra doses of ibuprofen to find out. So, Michael, how do you feel? Not so good? It looks like you have burning pain in the middle upper part of your belly, nausea and vomiting, decreased appetite, weight loss, and even what appears to be blood in your vomit and bowel movements. You better see a doctor. I would be willing to bet that your doctor will give you a long-acting antacid and check you for Helicobacter pylori infection. He may even send you to a specialist who can perform an endoscopy. This lovely procedure involves pushing a tube-like camera through your mouth and investigating the stomach wall up close and personal. But don't worry, you'll be asleep during the procedure. Helicobacter pylori infection can be cured with antibiotics. Most stomach ulcers require treatment with antacids for several months or longer. Oh, and by the way, Michael, you may want to stop drinking alcohol, smoking cigarettes, and drinking four cups of coffee per day. All of these things can make a stomach ulcer worse. So it looks like Michael here is feeling a little bit better. That is good. Most stomach ulcers are easy to fix with medications, but complications can be serious. But don't take my word for it. Talk to your doctor if you have any concerns. Remember to all you sofa doctors out there, diagnosing or treating anyone based on internet videos is generally a bad idea.